All right, so, so I got some comments um, for a, kind of a solo lesson for the song. I wrote this solo uh, for my friend dying of cancer, and that's actually true, so it's kind of sad, so the song is dedicated to him. Um, but I'm going to play you a short version of it, so that's all you need. You can just kind of watch my fingers, um, and then I will kind of play a longer version. The key of the song um, is, I think, in, it's in D major. Okay, but I'll just play it condensed version of it. bit longer but it has some parts in it that are just doubled um played again twice so i'll just play it um i'll kind of walk you through it now so the main melody is really simple i like to think of it as g major scale or you can think of it as e dorian as well but the main melody goes like this <laughs> so the first part of that you start on the 15th fret of the b string then you slide up to the 17th fret, okay, so it goes. Then after that, you go on the 14th fret of the E string, hammer on to the 15th fret of the E string. Then you go back directly up to the 15th fret of the B string, so we have. Part B is right. So you're on the 15th fret. Play it again. Hammer on to the 17th, and then slide off to the 12th. Hammer on again to the uh, 14th of the B string, and then you do this little shape. It is um, 14th on the G, 15th on the B, 12th on the E. Then you back to the B string, 15th fret. Side note, some parts of the song I just do uh, a slide up instead of going to that E string, uh, or bend up, sorry. That's part A, that's kind of the main melody. The bridge, right? That part, real simple. You do this little pattern, like kind of a major chord pattern. It is, um, 15th on the, uh, sorry, 16th on the G, 15th on the B, 14th on the E. Then you hammer on to the 15th on the E. Hammer on to the 17th. Pull off to the 14th on the E. Play it again. Which on the 14th again, you kind of hold the note. And we're on to the 15th, and pull off to the 12th, or slide to the 12th. Head on to the 14th. That's the whole bridge. I'll play it for you real quick. Right, and then this is the hard part of the solo. It's kind of shreddy. I don't really shred it, but I think it's a little shreddy. <laughs> Um, this is in D major. You want to think of it like that. So we start, we go up the D major scale until we hit the high D or the octave D. That note. So I'll just play it for you real quick. Right? If you don't know the frets, I'll tell you real quick. 15 on the, uh, sorry, 9 on the E, 10 on the E. 12 on the E, same pattern on the uh, A, right? Then we go to 9 on the D, then we go to 11 
on the D, and then slide up to 12. Right, after you slide up, you're gonna do this pattern, this major pattern again. Right, so that's 12 on the D, 11 on the G, 10 on the B. Then hammer on. Right, so you hammer on from the B string here to the 12th, pull off, hammer on, or just press, pluck the note, the uh, 11 on the G. So we have. Right, this part is a little slidey. Right, so you're on the 11 on the G, hammer on the 12th, pull off, and then you go to the 9th on the G. Together we have. Right? And this part, next part. Right? So you're on the ninth on the G. Hammer on to the eleventh. Uh, hammer on to the. Uh, sorry, you're on the seventh on the G. Hammer on to the ninth. Then you go down to the B string, you go to the 8th, 8, 7, do that twice, you're going to do a double bend, or I think it's called double bend or double stop. You're going to have your index finger on the ninth fret of the E string, and then you have these two fingers on the 12th, 11th fret of the B string. And then you bend up to the same pitch. And then you only hit the B string on the way down. Right? So you have... You hit it twice. And then you go to the tappy part, which is the hardest part of the solo, in my opinion. So I'll play it for you real quick. There's two tapping parts. This is the first one. This is pretty simple, a beginner tapping thing. The uh, the left hand is the same thing to hold the pattern. So the index finger is on the seventh fret of the E string, and you hammer on to the to the tenth the whole time. This is the hard. This is the uh, trickier part. So you're tapping. The pattern of the tapping is 12. This is on the E string. It's going to be 15, 14, 12. Right? Back up to the uh, 14. Back up to the 15. Back down to the 14. We skip a fret and we go up to the uh, 17. So it's 15, 14, 12, 14, 15, 14, 17. Right, one more time. Hold that note for a second. And this is the hardest part of the solo for me anyway. It's this kind of octave tapping thing. I'll play it. Sorry, see it's hard for me. So, all you're tapping on the, the right hand is the main melody of the song, right? The left hand is kind of doing an octave lower and kind of my interpretation of it. So I'll tell you it um, piece by piece. So the first part, the left hand is going from six to seven from a G string. And the right hand is tapping the 15th on the B string. Right? And then the next part, you go up two frets on the right hand, so you're tapping the 17. And then the left hand is going uh, from the 7 to 9 on the G string. So combine those. Right? And then part the next part. This is the hardest part for me. So you go down to the B string, you go 7 8 on the 
left hand, and on the right hand you tap 14. Again on the left hand, same thing, but then you tap the 15th, right? And then the left hand, it goes to up a fret, up a string, to do 9 on the G string. Okay, so it's... Right? And then you hammer on again. So 9 to... Nine to uh, Oh, seven to nine. Sorry. Right. And part B is seven to nine on the uh, D string, and then on the right hand you do the octave. So that's going to be twelve on the B string. So seven nine twelve. Then move it, everything up. Two frets. So left hand that is nine eleven, and then the right hand that is fourteen. The next part. So the right hand just goes up a fret. You're tapping the fifteenth, and then the left hand you're doing it six seven, and that's the whole solo pretty much. The ending is just the main melody. Right? So I'll play the tapping part. I'll play it all again slowly. So, main melody. Bridge. Traditional part, D major. Topping part. And that's the whole solo. I hope um, you guys learn it and enjoy it. If this was too complicated, leave some comments. Uh, maybe I'll do some tabs. I've never written tabs before, so that'd be a challenge for me. But you know, I, I, it feels really good for people to ask how to play some of my stuff. So um, yeah, this is the guitar I recorded on. If you want to know the chords, I'll tell you that right now as well. Uh, the, uh, the, the whole progression is pretty much like a pop progression, but there's some twists to it. So it's G, A, D, but then you hammer on to the third on the high E. I don't know if that's a D sus, but... And then you go to B minor, right? minor, G flat, B minor. That's the whole chord progression. The bridge is a bit different. It's um, here. Wait. Yeah, then it goes to C7. Then B minor 7. Back to C7. Sus to A. And that's the whole chord progression of the song. You can uh, go ahead and just shred away. It's a very nice song, very fun song. Lots of emotions for me to it anyway. And um, yeah, oh, peace out.